When people hear the term Einstein's theory of relativity, they automatically think it's above their heads. Only gray-haired, nutty scientific geniuses can understand it. You hear terms like space-time and the famous equation E equals MC squared, and it sounds way too abstract to be understandable by someone who does not have a PhD in physics. People may also think that while it sounds really cool, it can't really have anything to do with everyday life. But you might not know that your cell phone uses ideas from relativity when it uses GPS to determine your position. In addition, it really is extremely cool to learn that how fast your clock moves compared to someone else's clock depends upon whether or not you're moving with respect to each other. How can that possibly be? That just doesn't jive with our everyday experience. Why isn't relativity part of our everyday experience? Because its effects are so tiny, we could not possibly notice them. For instance, suppose we had twins, one who grew up to be a teacher and the other an airplane pilot. Suppose the airplane pilot flew a plane every day for an hour. Then after 50 years of flying, the pilot twin would be one one thousandth of a second younger than the teacher twin. Not the best way of staying youthful, but still kind of weird, no? The reason the effect is so tiny is because while we may think planes move fast compared to the speed of light, a plane is slower than a turtle. As we will see, the speed of light will play a big role in relativity, and its relatively large value, compared to human speeds, is what makes relativity pretty much impossible to experience in everyday life. What we're going to do is use the onboard sensors to allow you to experience relativity, and thereby gain some intuition as to what is really going on. But before we explain how we'll do this, Let's first talk about what the theory is.